So, I didn't video this coming apart, which I wish that I did, but this is the forward clutch pack here that goes inside of, I don't know, basket, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, yeah, really wish I videoed it, but I remember this clutch pack had a lot of play in it. Um, you know, it, it, it felt like enough play as if, like, you know, one of these was just missing completely. But so, I'll put this together here. And I already got these all soaked in oil and everything. But so we got this thicker plate, like so, that goes in first. And it's first via this orientation, of course. Because if, you know, things and such. Um... And, uh, you know, by the time, by the time that I upload the video, we will have already stuffed the reverser in the machine and found out if this works or not. Um, considering that we didn't find anything horrendously wrong with this thing, that I can tell anyways, because, uh, this is only the second time in my life that I've ever been into an automatic transmission and yes I'm aware that this is not technically a transmission well, I don't know it depends how you define it but it's closer to an automatic than it is a manual I guess just to say it they're calling this forward clutch ring gear oh okay um and then So Shit. that's what I was trying to figure out. They're calling that forward clutch hub. Okay. Um, but that was people were like, wait. Yeah. Um. And then. <laughs> and then <laughs> no more. And then. And then and then and then and then. And it's actually so tight that the snap ring doesn't even want to go in right now. Yeah. <clears throat> so, what in the world am I going to do about that? So, hopefully and it comes across as the snap ring is just not going down far enough to go into the groove there. We're calling this a uh, forward clutch pressure plate. Makes sense. And then we are going to, and then we are calling the other one the in plate. Makes sense. And then they're calling this a Belleville washer. Yeah, I've heard that before. Alright, so what am I going to do about... Yeah, that snap ring is really close. I'm almost wondering if oil before the fact was... Well, but at the same time, if the clutches swell in oil, then that wouldn't be good because these clutches need a slip. Well, just the amount of space the fluid takes up in between. Not necessarily swelling, but yeah, just that little bit in between. Um, I don't know. Well, and this kit that I got has got a bunch of different snap rings. So maybe, do I need to use the thinner snap rings? Is that a thing? Unfortunately, this kit did not come with any instructions or anything. And uh, I am the farthest thing from an expert on this shit. Did you want me to oil this before? I... Uh, no. Okay. But I guess also tape on this. Teflon. Yeah. Okay. So, 
Pull that fucking cocksucker back out again. Can I get lucky here? Put it all in in one shot. Sits into it. Didn't even have to get out the purse. What? Didn't even have to get out the purse. I know. <laughs> Next option is throw my fucking purse at it. Oh, fuck me. See, what the fuck? God, I wish I knew what I was doing. Ow, oh, fuck, I just stabbed myself. Okay, what the fuck? Alright, so I guess to show here everything steel clutch, steel clutch, steel clutch, steel clutch, steel clutch. Steel clutch. Okay, so that's all installed correctly. Snap ring is in. Fuck. Fuck, I stabbed my hand pretty good. Huh? Okay, so now that I look at this closer here, it looks like only the thinner snap ring will fit in there. If I grab a larger snap ring, yeah, it doesn't even want to go in the groove. Okay, so thinner snap ring it is. That is not much of a lip for it to sit into. Check out this play though.
Does that seem less than it was before? Mm -mm. I don't know either. The many not knowings of not knowing. Yeah. So yeah, here's the piston <coughs> for, here's the piston for the forward clutch back there. Now I got it bound up. Okay, no, that looks good, I suppose. Okay, I think that is right. And yeah, I guess for anybody that ends up watching this, do not think that this is supposed to be an instructional video of some expert that knows what he's doing. I'm just some jackass in his shop trying to fucking get my hoe to cooperate <laughs> nothing more nothing less and so if somebody uh, somebody ends up seeing this that does this shit for a living um, yeah help <laughs> Teleport back in time and help me with this. <coughs> but. Okay. Hey, if we get it back together and forward is reverse and reverse is forward, at least. It so actually you can do that if you switch the. Um, so this here is the valve that controls forward and reverse and the two uh, magnets. 
go on the end here uh, that control it. If you actually flip the magnets around, you can do exactly that. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure I tried that and it actually works. Okay. All right. All right. I'm going to stop it here and yeah.